So it comes covered in verbal controls tape. So if anybody in the shipping industry knows what it's worth, they'll steal it from you. Oh, uh, you're going to see my legs. They're hairy. Deal with it. That's big ass box. Maybe the car, the pilot that flew the cargo jet, took it out to use it, the plane on the way over and reboxed it when he landed. Hey, there you go. Maybe that's why the box is a little funky. The uh, unboxing AMR good ASMR good enough for you guys? Getting that real sense of uh, being there with the box. Tell you what, though, this box isn't going to get reused for much. Alright, that's one layer of cardboard. It's two layers of cardboard. Oh, here's the first box. The first box within the box. Let's get all this. There we go. Plenty of, uh... Plenty of packing paper. I'll deal with that later. Oh yeah, this is all packed very well. Still a little beat up, but that's pretty standard. Hey, Brian, I need to speak to your manager about this thermometer bullshit. I blame security. All right. What is what? Oh, that's heavy. This. Is a desk mount. Okay. That must be the desk mount for the... No, that's just the desk mount. Okay. So. Here's the desk mounts. Too small. That's what I bought. That shit's weighty. That's gonna be sturdy. So this is the desk mount adapter for the throttle. So the throttle goes onto this and goes onto the desk mount. I'll come back to these. They're not as exciting as the main attraction. They will be a vital part. This is 26 pounds worth of goodies. So I'm guessing this big ass box is the throttle. Yep, this is the throttle. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna need to get some tools. So this is the stick base. So I'm going to start with a stick base. And then the throttle. And then the desk mounts. And I might have to walk off for a second to get some tools. At the very least, a screwdriver. I think I have to take two screws out of the uh, Thrustmaster. I can bring the camera up a bit now. So you don't have to look at my hairy nuts. Ah, there we go. That's better. 
See? It's black. I didn't know. I, I, does it come in other colors? BPC Mongo's T50CMT throttle. Wait, that's the throttle. I want to start with the base. All about that base. BPC Mongoose T50 CM2 base. I didn't get a grip because I want to use my Thrustmaster Warthog grip. And that was a huge selling point for me. I think I'm going to turn off the background. I'll just have the white background. So that way you can see it better. And the big selling point for me besides not being made in China, is the Verpal is compatible with this. But there's two screws there that I think they say, they say has to be removed for it to fit. Otherwise, it may cause damage. So, slight field modification. I'll get a screwdriver for that in a minute. Let's see what's in this box. Oh, yeah. I know the mic's picking it up because I hear it on my monitor. My headphones, for those not familiar. Just start the tape. Oh, yeah. It's a box within a box. We are... Three boxes deep. It's boxception. That's not a complaint. I mean, considering... Oh. That was loud. Sorry. Considering that this has to be shipped internationally, boxception is probably a really good idea. There's probably a lot of packing material in here, too. Tell you what, my recycling bin's gonna be full. So it's an unmarked packing box. That's cool. It's in, uh, I would ignorantly say Russian, but I think Belarusians have their own dialect, don't they? So it's in Belarusian. And English, of course. It's in both. Attention. Check the package. Cool shit. So, check the package to make sure I have all of my cams and things. Okay. So, let's see. This is... One set of cams. So that's the Avio Sim cams. I gotta remember to show you guys this stuff. So it comes with three sets of springs and t or four sets of cams. Well, a cam is actually a, a machine term, Brian. Um, and if I need to adjust it, you'll probably see what I mean. I think I might stick with the uh, default cams. I might adjust the springs. That was another major selling point, is it's fully customizable with four sets of cams and... Three sets of springs so you can get it feeling just about how you want so here's one of the cams let me see if i there we go that's nice that's uh so the joystick ooh, that's covered in oil whoops 
Oh, well, damage is done. So you got the pin of the joystick, and that's the center position. And then when you push one direction, it rides up that way and rides up the other way. And it takes... has two cams per side, so you would have them like that. So that would actually make like a trough. And that's what... That's what centers you out and stuff. Yes, it's a notch thingy. In the world of machining, that's called a cam. Well, I'm glad I keep a roll of paper towels on hand at all times. Those are a bit, uh, they're lubed, pre-lubed. That's a good thing. But like I said, I don't think I'm going to be swapping the cams. And that might be, actually, that might be all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's all of the cams in there. Okay. Let me just make sure. So I have two with two notches, yes. And then the rest of them, I'm just going to have to trust they're the same because I don't want to get my, my hands covered in grease. And here's the springs. Custom tension springs. Too light and too heavy. And the mediums are pre-installed. So... Oh, that's a lot of bubble wrap. Alright, man. I'll probably still be unboxing this by the time you get back. Because there's a lot of stuff to go through. And assembly and all of that. So... I'll see you in a bit. Oh, who's calling? Uh, I don't want to talk to him. It's family. Ugh. So now I think next thing I'm going to pull out is going to be the actual base. That's pretty meaty. maybe four pounds ah. tape and bubble wrap it's always the most difficult to tear because they both just stretch Need a 30 minute answering machine message, please knock it off. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna be switching those out. Out to lights. Just feeling that the tension's really high. So, here's the actual base. Get some good light. There we go. Nice reflectivity. These are the uh, pre tensioner screws. And like I said, you can see it's the same style connector that the Thrustmaster uses, so it's 100% compatible. And then, you got the port connectors, so this connects to the computer and this connects to another device if you want to daisy chain them. I'm going to go get a... Look and see if I have one here. No, I don't. I'll be right back in a minute. I'm going to grab a Phillips screwdriver. What is this? It looks like Allen wrench. So I'm going to grab an Allen wrench set and a Phillips head screwdriver. I will be right back. Actually, wait a minute. What else are these? These are Allen heads. It's all Allen heads. It's Allen heads all the way down. That's awesome. All right, be right back. Remove the two bolts holding the female grip connector in place when attaching... Okay, so I removed the ones from the base, and that's an Allen wrench. 
And I grabbed my metric, my dad's metric set because, you know, it's got to be metric. Why would they use imperial? Sure enough. So the two from the base. And the female grip connector. This is the female. Okay. Slight modification to the base. Prevent damage to the connectors. Fair enough. I have to keep track of those screws. I don't want to lose them. All right. So. Slides right in. Nice and easy. Ooh, I got to be careful of the grip twist. Because those screws keep it from twisting around. I wonder if I can take the screws out now. They're probably different threading. About to say, I wonder if I could. All right, let's just make sure that's lined up. That's lined up. Just screw it on. See this this big ass thing's a screw, and it screws right on. All the grips are like that. So that's that's good and tight. Oh yeah, that needs the. Definitely putting in the light screws. Okay. Made in... This is the best part. Let me show you this. This is the best part of the whole thing. Right here on the product label. Come on, lighting. Uh, won't show it. I gotta turn off a light or something. Which is gonna fuck the green screen a little. Made in Belarus. That alone is worth the money. It's not made in China. It's made in Belarus. Isn't John Wick from Belarus? This is not going to need any configuration. This is the throttle. Going to be good to go out of the box. Another box within a box. Nesting boxes. Yellow Russian nesting boxes. Oh, that's a uh, that's an interesting packing style. Whatever works. And another USB plug cable. And here's the throttle in the bubble wrap. There it is. Ooh. That's thorough. They even put concrete, or not concrete. What did I say concrete? Cardboard. The 
between the two throttle pieces. So it doesn't get damaged in shipping. That's pretty genius. Ah, there we go. So it's got... That's nifty. I like that. So it's a, it's a double throttle. So good for a two engine. I don't know if you can see it right where my middle finger is. It's like a little lever. Works just like the, the charging handle on an MP5 or any other German rifle for that matter. So I have it locked open right now. And it's spring loaded. So I just pop it back, wiggle it. Bam, now it's a single throttle. Nice, I like that. Feels sturdy enough. There's the uh, the mouse slew. That's where my index finger is, which will free up my thumb to click things while I'm doing that. Hat switches for days. That's nice, I like that. Is that a hat switch? That's also a hat switch. They're all hat switches. Got about 50 hat switches on this. Encoder knob. That's good enough, I guess. Another one there. Another hat switch on top of it. Laps. So that's a temporary switch, huh? Yeah, like the other one. And that's a... Uh, that's a locking on-off. Huh. Ooh, that's clicky. I like that. I think my only complaint is that these little knobs don't have a stop. In other words, they just twist and twist and twist. I would have liked them a little more. Oh, and they click. They're also clicking buttons. Oh, well, that's cool. I would have liked it a little more if uh, they worked like the knobs on the base of the uh, Logitech. So then I could use them as uh, brightness knobs for my HUD and my... Uh... Minor complaint, though. This has enough buttons, I should be able to do absolutely everything, ever. I'll never need to use a keyboard ever again. It comes with desk mounts. That's good. Let me see how it is on the desk. I mean, I'm going to desk mount it, but let's just put it on the desk. Uh, you still really can't see it, but that's very smooth and very stable on the desk. Just having this on the desk, I would say, would be plenty, plenty great for most people. But I'm going to desk mount it so I can have it at a comfortable height, instead of up high. So that's going to be the next things to unbox, is going to be the desk mounts. So here's the actual throttle base. So the throttle is going to go onto this thing, and then this thing is going to... Where did I put my pocket knife? There it is. Ugh. I'm gonna be spending all night tonight just cleaning up all this all these boxes. If you ever wanna troll somebody, because I did this to somebody when I sent them gifts by mail once, just take bubble wrap, wrap it all the way around. And then just cover it in tape. That's a good prank. We'll also keep customs out of your shit. Because they don't want to fuck with it.
Just keep in mind, a jackbooted thug is a lazy thug. They don't want to work harder than they have to. Oh, they're taped on the outside. Okay. Okay, so it comes with four screws. Enough bubble wrap to uh, wrap up my house. And the short base. All about that base. There we go. Money shot. Okay, that's not going to open up the bag. Okay, that's not too dull. That's not too hard. Still got to cut it. desk mount with a quick release clamp. And this is new to this version of the desk mount. The other ones were not quick release as I understand it. So this is adjustable. They got adjustable thickness. Oh, the pad's not quite on there perfectly, but you know what? Oh, I see. And they shipped it backwards. Am I going to need a crescent wrench? I might need a crescent wrench. My tool requirements are going up rapidly. So what are these two bolts for? I don't know, maybe I can just do it with my finger. So, that's too big. Number five must be just right. Ah, oh, that's on there good and tight. Yeah, I'm going to need a crescent wrench. Shit. Awesome. There it is. Bottle and desk mount. Plenty of room for my fingers. Not as far back, so I should be able to sit the same distance from my desk. Let me test it out. Yeah, that's about, that's fairly close to uh, the distance I had to sit back with the uh, Logitech ones. Oh, that is so smooth. That is just a really smooth throttle axis. 
Oh, I can't wait to use that. I'm gonna be you're gonna be able to get real fine control with that. S just enough resistance on it. You know what I mean? Just enough that you, it'll hold its place with your hand on there. But n right at the point where you can just kind of do a little twitch of the muscle and make a fine adjustment. That is perfect. All right. Back to this thing. Wipe the grease off. Ugh. Hope I didn't lose too much grease taking that apart. <laughs> How to get this? There we go. That is greasy. Careful, I don't want to lose all my grease here. Wow, they loaded that up with grease. Yeah, it comes out the top. Okay, it's just that grommet was giving me a hard time. I gotta put the flat head. There it is. There's this little plastic thing. There we go. And there's the spring. Okay. That's a lot of grease. There we go. Springs and figure out which one's the light and which one's the heavy. I'm going to guess the silver ones are the light because they look thinner, noticeably thinner. Yeah, I can compress that with my fingers. Okay, so the silver are the light ones. So... Greasy. I'm gonna have to wash my hands. So there's the... Pretensioner screw, the washers, and then and the light spring I'm gonna use. So just put that back through the hole. And move that around so it's lined up with the bolt. Screw it back in. Yeah, I had to have the bottom open anyway, just so I could grab the cam arms. I could screw it all back in. Oh, that's good. That's... That's good. Maybe a little tighter to get it a good return. Five full turns. Six. Seven. I'll have to get the stick on and try it with that. 
That feels about the right kind of tension that I want, though. Ah, oh, so much grease. You can tell they weren't cheap with the grease. Trying not to take too much of it off. Or get too much of it on me, but it's a little unavoidable with how much they used. I bet you guys want to see the inside, get a good look before I button it back up. So I will. So that's the USB. Take that off. Oh! Snagging my cables again. And run it through the base. This is keyed, right? Trying to see where the key is. I'm assuming this is keyed. <sighs> These fucking wires. This is why the, all the other people use wireless headsets and shit, right? Okay, I think I got it on correctly. All right, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Especially thank you for those of you who showed up for the unboxing this morning. Now I have to deal with a whole bunch of boxes. <laughs> totally worth it, though.